so to give an advice to uh, students in the upcoming field uh, so what i generally see is that uh, students uh, don't understand the value of time so yeah. they start after like uh, others have reached their goals so uh, the meaning of accio job is that uh, like i think it originates from harry potter series in which accio means like uh, bringing something to you so uh, what accio job does is that brings jobs to you <laughs> Uh, good afternoon everyone welcome to the aqua job talk show channel my name is mrinal kamboj today we have a very amazing guest with you named nikhil nikhil will be completing his graduation in 2022 and nikhil is also an upcoming sge in raja software labs so please join me in welcoming nikhil hello nikhil how are you i'm fine so to know more about you let me start with a very basic question can you tell me something about your background like something about your background Hello everyone. My name is Nikhil Hore and uh, currently I'm pursuing my uh, bachelor's in mechanical engineering from Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji Institute of Engineering and Technology Nanded. Uh, apart from this uh, I also have interest in computer science field. That's why I'm like uh, pursuing my career in computer science field, IT development field. Uh yeah, that's all about me. Right. Okay, so how did you get to know about Accio job in this whole process? As I said earlier, that uh, i had interest in computer science field so so i was searching for uh, like different courses uh, uh, which can help me to pursue my career in uh, computer science field since i was from mechanical background one day uh, i got an email uh, email from my college that uh, there is a institute named as accio job and which can help you to get a good salary uh, job yeah so after that uh, i visited the accio job Uh, website then i applied for the like uh, application process or exam and then after that uh, yash introduced uh, what is uh, what is accio job in a live session and after that i got to know about accio job okay i'm glad yeah right so when you got to know about accio job and you get into our course uh, you got, got into our course right so how did you find the environment how did you find the course structure of accio job like okay so uh, in the live session uh, uh, yash mentioned that uh, the course will contain of these things like uh, first two two or three months uh, uh, dsa uh, advanced dsa after that uh, they will start with web development field etc then uh, for for the uh, selection process uh, we have to like uh, we have to do seven day uh, trial course in which uh, they will teach us and they will ask questions about whatever they have taught us in the interview and after that if we perform well they they will select us and i think uh, in the seven days i got a very good uh, amount of introduction to dsa i cleared the interview easily and then i i joined accio job after that uh, for the uh, for the six months uh, they have promised to like complete the uh, syllabus in six months even after that they have also like uh, Uh, took their two three months to like guide us to make us do projects etc so i am very glad that uh, they have helped us a lot right um, and yeah. we are very glad to help you out yeah so nikhil i wanted to know how much these projects that you make in your classes after like once dsa is completed there is a project right and once yeah. front end is completed there is a project and once back end is completed there is a project Yeah. So how much do you think this help a student in their final placement? Yeah. So what happens is that uh, whenever we learn thing we think that we have learned that thing and we know everything about that uh, whatever uh, whatever we have studied. So uh, but when we do the actual project we understand that we we have very basic level of knowledge and when we are doing projects we get to know uh, a lot about that uh, whatever the topic we have learned already. and uh, after that uh, these projects uh, when we make these projects we are applying real world concepts okay so i think this helps a lot to develop as a software engineer for us right okay yeah and my point my next question to you is you you see once your 6 months are completed or once you are into the batch at your jobs batch yeah and once you have studied well so what do you think of at your jobs placement process like okay so 
when i joined akio job uh, my main uh, issue was that uh, my college has uh, like uh, very uh, less number of placements so i joined akio job to get a uh, really good job uh, so uh, when i joined they uh, they taught us for like first 3 to 4 months after that uh, after that like uh, once we have sufficient knowledge in front end mm-hmm. they started to like give us opportunity to like apply for companies and right. uh, while uh, while applying uh, in the gap between the interview and the uh, exam they have also taken mock interviews which helped a lot to in the uh, in the real interviews okay so i think uh, placement process in accio job is like very very good i think it is very good yeah right okay we are glad that you liked our process but uh, my next question to you is you know somebody who is coming from mechanical branch right shifting to completely it field it's not an easy move it's not an easy shift so yeah. how how hard was this journey what all did you have to learn change about yourself like can you talk more about that yeah so uh, one of my concerns uh, while joining acquio job was like Uh, i am joining acquio job but uh, will i get a chance to apply for companies since i am from mechanical background and mm-hmm. i don't belong to csc background so will it like it companies will accept my applications or not but uh, and, and also i even asked uh, yash in the live session also so he said that every branch is welcome in it development field okay so uh, w- also in the interview i asked us yes. so he said that uh, what what is the scenario in the industry how they uh, make students eligible so it's actually not about uh, which branch you belong to it's actually about uh, how, how much skills you have as a uh, software engineer as a it developer okay we are glad yeah. that we could help you in getting placed yeah so i'll ask uh, my next question to you is how much do you think these hr mocks and technical mocks because we go very heavy on hr and you have to a student has to go for technical yeah. mocks and you should give hr mocks and sometimes students are like no i don't want to give them no you know they are they're a little hesitant of them yeah so yeah. do you think students should be hesitant about it or do you think they should go ahead with it uh, i think students should go ahead with it and i think students should like give those mock interviews uh very frequently like whenever it is possible you should give a mock interview uh, because uh, uh my first interview uh, my first inter- mock interview was with uh, yes sir uh, okay. he himself conducted uh, hr interview so uh, the interview lasted for like uh, one hour so for for the first 30 minutes he asked some questions and i gave the answers to those questions and after 30 minutes he like uh, Uh, he showed me what were my mistakes uh, in the uh, in the in answering the questions so like i understood a lot of mistakes what what i was making while giving the answers to the questions he not only like mentioned what were the mistakes he also mentioned like what should you give the answer like what your mentality should be while giving the answers so uh, it was a very informative informative like interview and uh, after that like uh, i felt like i should give mock interviews very frequently right and you know when you were studying in the batch when you were studying the main course right so how was your experience with the mentors for the first uh, two and uh, two and a half months uh, the course was like uh, uh, a very zero level uh, dsa to very advanced level dsa so they right. taught us everything like from uh, what we say like from arrays to from gra- uh, to graphs and dynamic programming etc so that was really informative uh, uh, course there after that right. uh, they started with front end so while starting the, with front end they have taught us with uh, like uh, taught us from html like mm-hmm. from basics basics of html to uh, a- advanced javascript yeah yes. after that they they taught uh, like how apis work and uh, how like uh, how front end technologies have advanced then they have taught react uh, so it took like around 4 uh, 4 and 1/2 months uh, uh, to in total uh, the dsa course and the front end course after that they started with back end in which uh, they they have taught us a lot about uh, like node js uh, Uh, they have taught us uh, node js and it helped me a lot to like uh, learn new things as well as while giving interviews with the uh, 
companies i could include uh, uh, eight to ten technologies in my resume while as well as including three to four projects in the resume so it was like uh, really a good a good uh, course for me and uh, it it had a really good experience wow. okay we are glad for that um nikhil my next question to you is what advice do you want to give to the upcoming students in this field so to give an advice to uh, students in the upcoming field uh, so what i generally see is that uh, students uh, don't understand the value of time like they uh, first of all they uh, watch students uh, like doing things okay okay he is doing uh, whatever i'll do later so uh, what happens is that uh, in the beginning of beginning of uh, your fourth year now i i am in my fourth year so i am t- telling about my situation is that in the beginning of your fourth year all the ma- major companies mostly the major companies come and uh, recruit uh, ca- deserving candidates okay so uh, so after that you g- see that uh, people are getting placed so you get depressed that how how they are getting placed and i am not getting placed so yes. they start after like uh, others have reached their goals so it will like uh, it will be like very dif- uh, depressing as well as it will be very like uh, unmotivating for you because uh, uh, you are like uh, just seeing uh, seeing things and you are uh, not starting on time so i think i should give uh, i sh- i wanted to give the advice that you should start on time because once the time has gone you cannot uh, revert it back yeah i think don't procrastinate yeah right okay so this is my final question to you to conclude this interview is what if you could explain acre job in one word or in one line okay. what would it be okay uh so uh, as you know uh, as we know the name acre job okay so uh, the meaning of acre job is that uh, like i think it originates from harry potter series in which acre means like uh, bringing something to you so uh, what acu job does is that brings jobs to you so it's like acu job bring jobs so i think acu job is really amazing and uh, the one word acu job it itself uh, like uh, uh, has a meaning so i think that that is the one word i want to de- describe acu job with okay so thank you so much nikhil and i wish you the best for your upcoming job at raja softwares and we had an amazing journey with you at acio job and we we wish you the best for everything in the future thank you everyone uh, for watching this interview with nikhil i hope you enjoyed it please let us know about your uh, thoughts in the comment section please like share subscribe acio job and have a nice day